Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today we celebrate the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Healing Eucharist Incorporated and the SVD Secretariat for Social Communications in cooperation with ABS-CBN, the Philippine Daily Inquirer, Pagoda Philippines Incorporated, RCBC Discartec, and Balikbayan Handicrafts celebrate with you this Holy Mass. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Mario Jose C. Ladra. We now begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father. We offer this Holy Mass also for all our intentions. We also pray for our loved ones, our families. And we pray for those people who are sick in the hospitals the overseas Filipino workers, the seafarers. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves worthy for the sacred celebration, please bow your head. And let us now ask God to forgive us of the sins that we have done and committed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to his people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose. Grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promised, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. 
Isaiah describes how the Lord replaces Shebna, a corrupt governor, with Eliakim, who, in the Lord's name, exercises the power of the key of David. This foreshadows Christ's action of safeguarding the church through the power given to Peter. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to Shebna, master of the palace, I will thrust you from your office and pull you down from your station. On that day, I will summon my servant Elikim, son of Hilkiah. I will clothe him with your robe and gird him with your sash and give over to him your authority. He shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. I will place the key of the house of David on Eliakim's shoulder. When he opens, no one shall shut. When he shuts, no one shall open. I will fix him like a peg in a sure spot to be a place of honor for his family. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. We repeat, Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. For you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. I will give thanks to your name because of your kindness and your truth. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. The Lord is exalted, yet the lowly He sees, and the proud He knows from afar. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. The salvation which the Father has accomplished through Jesus leads Paul to contemplation and praise, prayer and thanksgiving. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How inscrutable are His judgments and how unsearchable His ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor, or who has given the Lord anything that he may be repaid? For from him, and through him, and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Tiyak nung kapanahonan ni Jesus, madali siyang makilala ng mga tao. Dahilan sa kanyang mga himalang ginawa na ang mga bulag ay nakakakita, ang mga bingi ay nakakarinig, ang mga ketungin ay gumagaling, at ang iba't ibang mga sakit at karamdaman ay pinagaling ng Panginoon. Tiyak na siya, kilalang kilala ng mga tao. Kaya nga po't nagtanong siya ngayon sa kanyang mga alagad, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? Matthew chapter 16, 13. Sino raw ang anak ng tao? ayon sa mga tao. Narinig natin na iba't iba ang sagot na ang sabi ng kanyang mga alagad, Well, Lord, may nagsabi na kayo daw po ay si John the Baptist, may nagsabi na kayo daw po ay si Elias, may nagsabi na kayo daw po ay si Jeremiah, at isa sa mga propeta. So ito yung sagot ng mga tao. Ganito nila nakilala ang Panginoon. Sisters and brothers, bakit ho nagtanong ang Panginoong Jesus ng ganoon? To know His popularity rating? Of course not. Hindi po ito ang dahilan. Nagtanong si Jesus sapagkat nais niya na malaman kung totoo siyang kilala ng kanyang mga alagad. Yes, sila'y magkakasama sa loob ng tatlong taon. Napakinggan ang kanyang mga alagad, ang kanyang mga turo, nasaksihan nila yung kanyang mga ginawang himala. But that is not enough. But the question is, do they really know Jesus? At di ho lamang kilala, 
kinakailangan yung pagkakilala nila sa Panginoon ay meron pong lalim. In short, a deep knowledge of Him with a deep personal relationship with Jesus. Ito po yung hinahanap ng Panginoong Iso Kristo sa kanyang mga alagad. Kung kilalang kilala nila siya at kung sila ay merong malalim na personal na ugnayan sa kanya. Matthew 16:15. Kaya nagtanong ang Panginoon, o kayo naman, ano ang sabi ninyo? Sino ako? Brothers and sisters, it was Peter who responded with conviction. At ano ang sabi ni Peter? You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Matthew 16, 16. Peter did not only confess his faith in Christ with his lips, but Peter expressed it with the truth of his life. Na sa totoo lamang po, si Pedro ay namatay para sa Panginoon. He was also martyred. He died with the Lord. Yan ang nangyari kay Pedro. My dear sisters and brothers, today, we are all confronted by our Lord asking each one of us, Sino ako para sa iyo? Who is Jesus for you? Sino si Jesus para sa iyo? My dear sisters and brothers, as Christian Catholics like Peter, may we also answer this question with the truth of our life. Meaning to say that we must bear witness in Christ. Ayun pong ating sagot doon sa tanong ay hindi po lamang isang simpleng sagot. Hindi po lamang ito isang simpleng salita. Subalit, sa ating pong pagsagot at sa ating pagsasalita, makita rin sa atin yung lalim ng ating pagkilala kay Jesus. Yung makita rin sa atin na ikaw at ako, tayong lahat, ay merong personal na relasyon kay Jesus. Amen? Nang na ibig sabihin na tayo maging tunay na saksi ng salita ng Diyos. Nang na ibig sabihin yung makita sa ating pagkatao, sa araw-araw nating pamumuhay, na yung ating pagkatao ay isang mabuting pagkatao. Why? Because when someone sees Jesus in you, this is an affirmation that you become a witness to others. You know, while reflecting this gospel, I remember a story. There was this blind woman selling flowers by the sidewalk. Isang araw, rush hours, napakaraming tao, someone accidentally bumped her fail of flowers. Wala akong malamang gawin yung matanda na bulag. Hinahanap niya ng kanyang mga kamay kung sa napadpad yung mga bulaklak. Nakakaawang tingnan. Walang pakailam yung ibang mga tao. Suddenly, 
a man held the woman by the arms and guided her back to her seat on her small chair. Sabi nung tao, okay na po yung mga bulaklak na ibalik ko na po sa inyong timba. Nung nagpapaalam na po yung tao doon sa babae, doon sa matanda, nagtanong ang matanda, Are you Jesus Christ? Ikaw po ba si Jesus? My dear sisters and brothers, how about you? Has someone asked you that question because of your good deeds? Ikaw ba sa buhay mo yung nagtanong na sa iyo dahil sa iyong mabuting ginawa? Are you Jesus? Sa ating pong panahon ngayon, higit po nating ipakita at ipadama ang katauhan ng Panginoong Jesus sa ating kapwa-tao. Regardless of what race, color, or belief others may have. Ipakita natin na ang totoo at tunay na pagiging kristyanong katoliko ay merong malasakit, marunong mahabag, at mayroong pagmamahal sa kanyang kapwa-tao higit sa mga taong nangangailangan. We are challenged today that as members of our church, the Catholic Church, instituted by Christ, we have a mission to live our faith and to live exemplary Christian lives by making a difference to the lives of other people, especially to the least, the last, and the lost. My dear sisters and brothers, may these beautiful humanitarian Christian attitudes, doings, and mission. Be our firm conviction of saying, Lord, <coughs> kilala po kita. At sana po, <coughs> bilang mga Kristiyanong Katoliko, may pagmalaki natin ang tunay na simbahan na ating kinabibilangan. Sana we can always say, I am proud to be a Christian Catholic. Amen. God bless you. Please bow your head, close your eyes. Tingnan po namin paano tayo na antig ng salita ng Diyos. Lord, totoo ho. You have challenged us this morning that we must be true to our Christian faith that we must be true and genuine Catholics by becoming witness to your word by doing good deeds to others. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me that as a person, as a Christian, I must have a deep knowledge about you. That I must have a personal relationship with you Accepting you, Lord, as my Lord of my, the Lord of my life, as my personal Savior. Sana, Panginoon, may pakita ko ito sa aking gawa. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Please stand. We now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, 
born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord entrusted the keys of the kingdom to, P to Peter. Let us pray to the Father that our faith in Christ will build up the church in love. We pray, remember your church, O Father. Please repeat. Remember your church, O Father. May Pope Francis, with all the bishops who have succeeded Peter and the apostles in the ministry of shepherding, lead us in sound doctrine and morality in these times of trouble and uncertainty, we pray. Remember your church, O Father. May the government and civil leaders neither abuse their power nor resort to violence, but rather see themselves as your stewards and instruments to do good and defend the rights of the poor and the weak, we pray. Remember your church, O Father. May all teachers, catechists, students, and lay workers profess Christ as the only Messiah and proclaim His gospel through their prayer and work, we pray. Remember your church, O Father. May those who have grown weak in body and spirit through the years of pain have a heart that is strong with joy and trust in you, O God. We pray. Remember your church, O Father. For all missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations, may the Lord protect them from all dangers, strengthen them in their loneliness, give joy to their communities, and fulfillment in their apostolate. May the Lord reward them in this life and in the life to come for their sacrifices and generosity, we pray. Remember your church, O Father. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who are asking for our prayers and for our personal intentions. We pray. Remember your church, O Father. Lord, we also pray for all those people supporting our ministry, our sponsors, especially Ernie and Laarniu. We also pray for all other sponsors, our cameramen and their families, and our members of the music ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Remember your church, O Father. We pray for the intentions and healing of Rene Goko. And also we pray for the intentions of Maria Ocampo, for Lita and Lucy Ladra and uh, their families. We pray also for Sister Ana Marie Kunanan Cheng and those people who are asking for our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Remember your church, O Father. 
we also pray for the intentions of Mrs. Niemes Ramos and those people who are one with us in this mission. We pray for June and Emma Bahet. Let us pray to the Lord. Remember your church, O oh Father. We also pray for Marion and uh, Romy Peralta, Monette and Ben Peralta. And we pray for all those sick people in the hospitals. Please touch them with your healing hands. Let us pray to the Lord. Remember your church, O Father. Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ secures our faith through Peter and his successors. Give us the grace to keep and cherish our unity of faith in your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar from sin through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gather them again to yourself that a per people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made a body of Christ and temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the Church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy, we proclaim.
indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore the gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and I praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. As one family gathered in the name of Jesus, we now come to our Father in heaven with the words Jesus taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and useless worries as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited in the sacred meal of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray. The healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue putting ourselves in the presence of God for our healing prayers. We let God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
touch us. That we may be healed. For He is the divine healer, the greatest physician of all, and nothing is impossible with Him. Opo Panginoon, sinasamba ka namin sa iyong espiritu at kabanalan, sa iyong katotohanan. Ikaw ang Diyos ni Abraham, ni Isaac at ni Jacob. Ikaw ang aming Diyos, kahapon ngayon at magpakailanman. Ama namin sa langit, sa pangalan ni Jesus, patawarin mo ang aming mga kasalanan. Sa mga pagkakataon, Lord, na kami nakapanungayaw ng kapwa, na kami naging palalo sa aming isip at salita, sa aming kilos at gawa, sa mga panahon, Panginoon, ako'y naging makasarili, sa mga pagkakataon ako'y hindi nagmahal ng tunay at totoo sa kapwa-tao. Patawad, Panginoon. Patawad sa lahat ng aking kasalanan. In the name of Jesus, Father God in heaven, we humbly beg you to give us the Holy Spirit that we may be anointed. Lord, you tell us in your word, in Matthew chapter 11, 28, Come to me, all of you who are weary and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Panginoon, gumalapit po ako ngayon sa iyo. Naniniwala at nananalig na ako'y tutulungan mo, na ako'y pagagalingin mo. You are the Jehovah Rapa, the God who heals. And I put all my trust in your power and love. Pagalingin mo, Panginoon, ang lahat ng mga may sakit na cancer. Cancer of the breast, of the uterus, of the thyroid, cancer of the kidney, of the lungs, cancer of the bone and the skin. Lord, maawa ka sa amin. Pagalingin mo rin ang mga may diabetes, nagdadialysis, aming mga may sakit sa puso, tanggalin mo ang mga bara sa mga ugat. Pagalingin mo rin ang mga may sakit sa balat, empaisima, asma. Pagalingin mo rin, Panginoon, ang mga may insomnia, ang hindi makakain, hindi makarinig na maayos, ang mga may diferensya sa mata. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. Heal those who are confused, those who are hurting, those who are afraid. Lord, inaangkin po namin ngayon ang aming kompleto't ganap na pagaling. Hawakan mo ng iyong mapagpala at mapaghimalang kamay ang mga may sakit na nasa ospital, ang mga nasa kanikanilang tahanan, na nakikiisa sa aming dahiling Eucharist na ito. Touch them, Lord. Bless them. Heal them. Heal my emotions. Heal my soul. Heal my body. In Jesus' name, everybody say, Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, receive your miracle healing. Say amen. Amen. 
and we go to the Blessed Mother Mary. Together we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Before I give the final blessing, we'd like to invite you to our the Healing Eucharist daily, 7.30 po ng uh, gabi. And also, we'd like to invite you to our Holy Masses, the Healing Masses, sa Our Lady of Guadalupe Chapel, Barangay Kanduran, Kalawan, Laguna. Ang misa po natin doon ay every Sunday na po, alas 11 ng umaga, and every 12th day of the month, this coming September 12th, Meron po tayong healing mass na gagawin. Our Lady of Guadalupe Chapel, Barangay Kanduran, Kalawan, Laguna, alas 11 po ng umaga. Please come, be blessed, and be healed. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now go in the love and peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.